Hey guys, it's Summer Rain from Homestead, Brooklyn, and I'm here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at Los Sures, which is a senior citizen service center. And we raised enough funds in order to be able to build a chicken coop and garden, which is going to be tremendous fun on this rainy day. We have to lay the foundation, build the walls, and then we're gonna be applying Sanicare animal bedding by the Espoma company. <laughs> <laughs> so that the chickens don't get too wet. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> okay. Now you turn around your butt again. <laughs> okay, so Zach, we're here today building out the chicken coops and I just want to give people an idea of what Los Sures is all about here in Williamsburg. Yeah, uh, we're an affordable housing organization. So in the 70s, when the city wasn't taking care of buildings, people in the neighborhood got together and formed a nonprofit to repair buildings, build new ones, and keep them affordable for people. And beyond that, we do community services, we have social workers, and we have a huge comida or food program where we're producing food, we're making meals, and we're giving it out for free through our food pantry. And how does a chicken coop kind of fit into the, that food justice program? It's a good question. Uh, we get eggs, so it's able to produce eggs for us, the chicken coop. A larger thing than that is that there's a huge social factor uh, and therapeutic uh, factor in being able to interact with live animals, especially ones that you don't normally get to. The majority of the people that we serve are Latino, uh, we're outside of an affordable housing building right now where they're senior citizens. And so for them, it's a chance to interact with something that they may have connected to in, a, in another time in their life. Uh, but here in Williamsburg, uh, and get closer together with other people and animals. It's so true. I mean, I, there is still a lot of Dominican and Puerto Rican population here in Williamsburg. I've been here for 13 years. And every time I walk down the street with Kippy, everyone's like, I remember hens from my hometown and like Dominican Republic or wherever they're from which is really great. So it's awesome to have it here. And I was actually shocked that you guys have a chicken coop because you know, it's not, you can't see it from the street. Right. Um, talk a little bit about the community coming together here for the volunteer day. I mean, we connected on a very neighborly level. And I think that's really where it started is, you know, two different people who were in the neighborhood working on things and having a joint project. But beyond that, you know, we've been able to bring in old gardeners who are members of local community gardens, people who've worked on our hydroponics, uh, new volunteers we've never met before, people with tons of skills. So I think it's pretty beautiful. We have people who know a lot about birds, for instance, giving us pointers on one thing. We have people who know a lot about measuring and cutting things, helping out in a big way too. So what's your vision with the coop? Like, I know you want to get more birds. Like what, what's, uh, what, how does it fit into kind of your overall vision? I think we'd like to be a resource for other people in the community who want to learn more about these things. And so having it be safe and secure and well built is you know the, the primary goal and then beyond that more opportunities for people to get involved so whether it's dropping birds off whether it's you know us finding a way to donate some of the you know older ladies into back into people's homes or farms uh, whether it's just bringing school groups uh, or maybe uh, you know chicken parties <laughs> any way we can engage more people yeah I mean I think that it's really marvelous walking around with Kippy in the neighborhood I feel like we're so far removed from both farm life and forest life that it becomes a really good education tool, not just for kids, but also for adults as well. There are so many opportunities to make our built environment more sustainable, more enjoyable, and more connected to probably where we came from as humans. And I feel like it's not the place that people think they're going to see chickens, they're going to see food being grown. And for that reason, it's exactly where we want to be. Right. Uh, awesome. Kippy agrees. So I'm at the Los Sores Chicken Garden and the coop and they've already done a great job on building out the run. I think it might rain a little bit on Saturday but that shouldn't affect us too much. And you can see that Kippy's already integrating into the coop. We're also expecting a nice delivery of Espoma Sanicare for the chicken coop and the run area and we'll also be getting some biotone and some soil for planting the chicken garden beds. All right, we are at Home Depot and we are going to be 
getting the rest of the products for the chicken coop and the garden. Zach, what are we getting today? We're gonna get some power tools, some saws. We're gonna get maybe some plants, bulbs, uh, maybe a screw or a, a dowel, all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah, great. Hi. Just grab some gloves. For us to have like uh, airflow, chickens have uh, ammonia in their feces, and so they can actually like uh, run out of air if they don't have enough ventilation. So we just finished the coop and now we are going to lay down the bedding. So we have some Sanicare odor reducer, which is wonderful because chickens poop like mad and there's a lot of ammonia. So it's great to have some odor control. And then we also have Sanicare by the Espoma company. And this is great because it's not made with softwoods like cedar or pine. It's NIH certified as well as it's hypoallergenic. So this is the one that is certified that it's okay for baby chicks and chickens, but you could also use it for horse bedding and, uh, and whatnot. And it's also very easy to clean. The other stuff that we had before um, was very difficult to clean. You had to remove all of it. But this one actually clumps up very similar to kitty litter. So it's easy to actually take out those spots. So if there's like a really wet area, you could take that out put a little of the odor control because with chicken poop it has a lot of ammonia. It's part of the reason why you can't just put it directly on your plant beds. You have to actually compost it because it could actually burn your plants. So between the Sani Care and the odor control, I think it's going to be perfect. Hey guys, so I hope you really enjoyed that episode in building a chicken coop. It was a lot of work on this rainy day, but it was well worth it. And if you like this episode, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified every week when these launch, click the little bell next to the subscription button. And if you wanna follow along on my journey, you could do so on my website at homesteadbrooklyn.com and on Instagram at homesteadbrooklyn. See you next week.